I really was wondering if I should show you this video or not. That's why it took me one year to publish it. And the reason is I'm super fat and I got super long hair, which is super trashy, white hair, oily, and uh, I just can't grow hair that much anymore. So it kind of looks gross. Anyways, who cares, right? Enjoy the video. Have a good time. I'll talk to you towards the end of the video. Now we're meeting with our friend, Lenka. You probably saw her already on one of our videos when we went to the cottage. This is the first time we go to this terminal for private jets. Never been here. So I'm really curious how it looks like. Let's go. Here's the terminal. We just met the pilots. Must be some of these aircrafts. So now we're leaving the terminal. Uh, and we're going to the private jet. I'm not sure exactly. I think we just have to walk there. I'm not sure which one it is. Something looking like that, probably. CSA, Czech Airlines. Now that's a very small, small engine, I'm telling you. I'm used to the A380, I don't know if you know what aircraft that is, but this is very small. It's a bit bigger. At least small, small engines. Unbelievable. Small little hold over there. Are you excited, Truki? Are you excited? Yeah. Truki, are you excited? Are you excited? See you, Misha. I hope I'm not gonna feel sick. I never flew with such a tiny, tiny airplane. I'm, I'm used scared to a little bit. You just ones, you know. The smallest aircraft I flew is the Cessna. I think it's like the. It's called the P-152. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, this is quite small, I gotta say. It's not so, so huge and uh, kind of scary a little bit. So they carried out the ground checks. They checked, I don't know, like the landing gear. They checked the wings. They checked the engines. And now they're doing the security checks inside. That's why we're out and then we're gonna go back in. Hello girls. How you doing? The Kuka is all comfy. Greeny. Ahoy. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> So apparently this aircraft is different from an A380 or a Boeing 777, not only in weight and in size, but also takeoff. This aircraft does a really, really steep climb, unlikely from the A380, which is like super gradual and it lifts up. I don't know at what kind of rate, but the vertical speed is way, way higher on this aircraft. So I'm really curious to feel it. Even though the, the engines are so small, but compared to the weight, I totally understand that they're gonna be way, way, way more significant on the pull to this air aircraft. Oh my god, I'm a bit excited and scared. Ooh. Oh, is this Daka? Oh, is this Daka? Oh my god. I just want you to stop and think for one second how this dog ended up from gypsies being mistreated on a charter jet flight. Private jet flight, I guess. What are the odds? <laughs> like a box. 
What are you, Snoop Dogg's dog? Thank you. We're at the Prague Airport, codenamed PRG, and apparently there are two runways, and we don't know which runway we're going to, so we don't know when we're gonna take off or not, which makes it even more, like, scary. They're taxiing super, super quick. Like, you see the speed? That's fast. Oh yeah, this is where the Emirates A380 would park. One thing I want to point out is that there's no door to the cockpit, which is kind of strange, don't you think? I mean, I know it's a private jet. There's a door, but it's left off. Uh -huh. So there's a sliding door, and you can lock it, but it's open. So I don't know, kind of uh, interesting, different from commercial aviation. Even in diagonal? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Must be hard to push it when you're climbing. Yeah. Like now. Well, they shouldn't be. Oh, you can even bring this down. Oh, it is already down. Wow, that's really cool.
We are in Berlin, and I think the, I believe it's SXF, the airport we were in. Pomes Fritas. Pomes Fritas, yes, right, right. <laughs> so we drafted a small little travel guide for you guys. If you ever come to Berlin, if you don't have much time, I get believe that this would be the right guide for you. So if, if you decide to come by train or by aircraft or whatever, you're always gonna end up in the main Hauptbahnhof, which is the main train station. You go to that place right over there, which is the Reichstag. And I think the Reichstag is a government building. And the dome on the very top.